Hi everyone, this is Sharon. Today I have a fun little tutorial for you making one of these little monocle charms. I made this recently for a nature-inspired journal and our friend Michelle, our boho crafty chica, asked for a tutorial, so that's what I'm doing today. And on this one, I just put this pretty image of a flower, some peonies behind there, and then on this side, I've got some more peonies. Now, one side will be behind the glass, and the other side will be paper, um, but I kind of finished that off so it gives it a little bit of an oil painting look to it. On this one, I just added a little piece of twine, but you can tie it up with any kind of ribbon that you want. So I'll set that one aside. Here's the one we'll be working with today. You can find these optometrist monocles on eBay and Etsy. I bought a pack a few years back and I'm still working through it. Um, these are nice and old and kind of rusty around the edges. So for the one that we're making today, I thought I would put a lady on one side and a patterned paper on the other side. So I went to Roxy Creations French Chateau Kit and pulled this lady. I thought she would look nice on there. And then put this pattern on the back side. So our first step is to cut a circle the size of your monocle. Now it really, really helps to have a hole punch the same size as your monocle. I've got some of these that are an inch and a half large, uh, in size and some that are inch and a quarter. So this is an inch and a quarter and that's the size punch I have. It just makes it a lot easier to try to get your circle to fit. So I think I have to cut this down a little bit to get my punch in there. And then I'm gonna kind of line her up where I want her. And then I'm going to do the same with this pattern paper. Maybe do something like that. Okay, so I have my two pieces of paper. This one I'm going to glue behind the glass. And then this one I'm just going to glue to the other piece of paper. And that will be my back side. So we've got something nice to look at on both sides. So the first thing I'm going to do is to do a little inking around the edges. Um, since we just freshly punched these papers, I really don't want to see any white along the edge. So I'm just going to rub some brown ink around the outside just to get rid of any white. I'll do that on both pieces. And then I'm going to do around the outside of each one as well, so that when I line them up and glue them together, in case they're off just a little bit, we don't have any white showing. This was the first time I made one of these in a while, and I forget how much fun they are. I usually put them on the front of a journal as like an embellishment or sometimes I'll put them inside the journal and then just slip them into a pocket attached to a string or something like that. Okay so we have our pieces inked. So now I made sure that I wiped the back side. I think I'm going to do it again here quick just to make sure it's really nice and clean on the side that you're going to glue to. And I like to adhere mine with this matte gel medium. I think any kind of you know matte gel medium, uh, Mod Podge, any kind of white glue that would work on glass would certainly work. So I'm going to actually just spread it right on the glass. I find that works better. It doesn't curl the paper like it would if you put it right on the paper. 
So I give it a good, nice, generous coat. Make sure it's all the way to the edges. I can always rub that off later off the metal. Okay, I think that's a pretty good coat. Then I'm going to take my lady and put her face down. Well, maybe face up if I, might be easiest if I just push this onto her and then position her. And with the white glue, you've got some good drying time so you can move it around to where you need it. Now I'm gonna come back on this side and I think just get that in place. So I've got a little bit of an edge showing all the way around. That looks good. And I'm just going to keep pressing that. Make sure it's good and tight all the way around. And you can see the white glue in there and that'll dry clear. Now I am going to let this dry thoroughly before I put my back piece on. I don't want anything moving around or getting too wet. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'll be back. Okay, I think our lady image is pretty well dry. So now I'm going to take my matte gel medium and brush it across the back of this piece so we can attach our back. Again, I'm going to make sure I get it spread to the edges really well. And then take this piece. Now here again, I want to make sure I get my edges down really well. Everything's lined up so we can see a little bit of that metal rim all the way around. Okay, and then I am going to go with another layer of my matte gel over the top of that. That'll seal it in there really nicely. And then I'm going to come back again with a second coat when this one is dry. Give it all over. And now I'm just going to try to clean that up a little bit. Take the excess off. Just take my finger and kind of rub that around the edge to get all the excess glue off of there. And I kind of go both ways. I, I, I go one way and then the other way just to get it nice and spread and even. Okay, we will let that dry and be back for our second coat. Okay, I am back and my layer of matte gel medium is pretty dry. So I'm gonna come back in with a second layer and for the second layer, I'm using matte Mod Podge. And you may ask why Mod Podge this time around? Well, the reason I do it is because the matte gel medium leaves a really matte finish and it's kind of um, a rough sort of toothy finish where I find with the Mod Podge, it is a little bit smoother it just feels better when you rub your finger across it. And it has, even though it's matte, it leaves just a teeny little bit of a sheen to it, which I prefer. Um, it kind of gives things a little bit of a linen look, maybe a little bit of an oil painting look. And that's just something I prefer. So you can experiment to see what finishes you prefer. And again, I kind of go up and down and then across, and it just gives that kind of a linen look to it. A 
Okay, again, I will let that dry and be back. All right, we have our second coat dried and you can see it has just a little bit of a sheen to it and it's got a really nice smooth finish. I like the way it feels. So she is finished and the only thing left is to decide how you might want to hang it or attach it. Most of these have a little hole at the top so if you took a bulb pin or some other type of pin you could easily insert that in there and hang it that way. Um, on this one I used some twine so another thing you could do this one's not as rustic so I might want to take some ribbon this is just a piece of sheer fabric and tie that around for a nice little bow and that would be pretty too to hang it like that so I hope that gives you a few ideas of how you can make your own little charms using these monocles. Thanks for coming along with me today. Until next time, bye-bye.